All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a filter sweep. Uh, filter sweeps are great for uh, introducing a breakdown or a buildup or just creating some sort of intensity in the song. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But one of the key elements is the element of noise. And then what you're going to do is literally sweep through that noise. The great thing about uh, white noise is it carries every frequency. So with the filter, the filter is just choosing what part of the noise to kind of comb through. So let's go ahead and turn off three of the four oscillators because we only need one. And this one, as you can guess, we're going to want white noise. Now we could use the filter that we have here Or we can um, have the filter off, so we just got got it on full filter, and then we can drag another filter in. Um, in this case, I can drag in an auto filter, and we can use that. Which is really cool. So in making you know your basic filter I mean what I would normally do is let's create a clip here and this clip is just going to be it doesn't even matter what uh, note it's on because it's all noise always plays the same now the trick here is well usually you're gonna want it a certain length so let's just say uh, four bars it's just gonna be as simple as dragging that across okay and then what we can do is we can automate the uh, the filter. So we can come back here to our filter, and all I got to do is click on this little area hertz, and then come back in. And if I come to the envelope, you'll see it's on filter frequency, so it's ready to go. And then I can just bring this from low. To high. Oh. There we go. So it'll go from mostly inaudible, inaudible all the way up to a uh, very high frequency. And then you could kind of fine tune it. So now. And then what you'll probably want to do is bring in some effects to kind of widen the sound and, and just give it a little bit more flavor. So what I'll do is I'll drag in a chorus kind of like spread the sound a little bit. Cool. Um, and I'll turn the wet dry. I can turn that a little bit lower. And a reverb with kind of a long tail. Seven seconds. Yeah, that, that seems pretty good. And then I'll turn the wet dry around 35%. That's nice. And then the next thing is how about a nice simple delay? We could actually use a ping pong delay too, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put it before the reverb and bring this down. I kind of like where it's set on the th three there. So here we go. And I'm going to go back and click on this so I can better automate. OK. 
it seems to be just giving like a little thump. And the last thing that I want to do here is I want to cut out the low frequencies. So at the end of this all, I'll put a low well, a high pass filter there. Oh, let's turn that on. There we go, a nice steep one. And uh, that'll cut out some of those lows, and I'll bring that up to 120. There we go. We've got ourselves uh, a filter here, and I'm gonna let's turn the loop off on the clip. So after it plays through, it'll stop. Oh, and let me bring that all the way over, and then we can kind of watch this go. And that's a basic approach to making a filter sweep. So I hope you can use this and follow through. And then you could, of course, fine tune your own types. Uh, you could add different things like an LFO to the whole mix, which will give it an interesting here. I'll, I'll show you. So there's a number of different things that you can do. Uh, so go ahead and play with that. But basically it's just as simple as an operator instrument with noise, or if you can have a noise sample that you can loop, and then um, running it through a filter. I mean, that, that's the basis of a filter sweep. So I hope that helps.